JR Tavai still out. Bacham out, Torn Harris out, Demetrius Wright with a hip pointer is out. Nothing serious. We anticipate him being back um, pretty soon. Cody Temple still out, Geo still out. Xavier Grimble was limited with his neck, but he'll be, he should be okay tomorrow. Christian Thomas still not cleared with his hip. During practice, Gallipo hurt his shoulder. I don't think it's very severe. And TJ McDonald turned his ankle early, but then went through most of practice on his ankle. Um, once again, showing who he is and what he's about. As far as practice, I thought it was pretty good for guys coming out uh, after a, a late night game like that. You know, we really wanted to push them instead of just having to walk through today, bring them out here and push them through, which is what we need at this point. So, put the pads on again, had a pretty intense practice, and for the most part, pleased by the way they responded. It seems like Lamar Dawson has gotten most of the number two reps at the middle linebacker spot. If something were to happen to Chris, would Lamar be the, the first guy to get the call there? Yeah, we're still so early. We don't make definite decisions like that. You know, we've been through five practices, now six practices, one game scenario. And so the reason we don't do that is we don't have to. We don't play any games right now. So, you know, we'll keep plugging along with this and see how it goes. And anticipation would be that, you know, that should happen. He's getting all those reps. But um, we'll see. How's he done so far? Very good. Uh, I told our staff today this morning after watching all the film, you know, over the years of doing this, at this point right here, if you have a freshman, a true freshman that's, in his, that's been through five practices, his first time in the Coliseum, and he's lining up right and making plays, we have somebody pretty special. Because most of the guys at this point, you know, barely can line up. Once you're in that scenario, like a lot of our freshmen did, you know, running the wrong routes or dropping in the wrong fits or jumping off sides. And so, he does not look like a true freshman out there, which is what, what we want. That's what the really good guys in the past have done. Talking about freshmen, you had a couple of at offensive guard, big, big offensive guards. What's that look like? Well, moving Andre in there, Andre did some really good things in the game. Another freshman, you know, showing things out there. And that, that position is probably the hardest one outside of quarterback for guys to come in and play right away. And so he showed us enough by things he did, especially at 364 pounds to play the way that he did was pretty special. So he's still got a long ways where he could really play in a game after only six practices now, but he looks very talented. And so we're gonna move him in there and give him a shot to start. How about the other guard? Uh, Mark Coleman ran some in there. And that spot will be open. Uh, Abe Markwich will run some in there as long as well as center. And Jeremy Galton's still there. We just weren't very pleased with the guard play with the first unit coming out of preseason game one. So that's. That's why there's competition. We'll give someone else a shot and see what happens. Is Andre going to get a, like an extended audition, kind of? I, I don't know. You know, we'll see how long you take it. You know, our system puts those guys up there, and and it's their job to see how long they can stay. As far as the freshmen, and that's how we've done it for years. And sometimes they can stay, and sometimes they can't handle it, and they move back down. What do you, huh. what do you like especially about him as a freshman that size? What do you see? What, what does he do? Do, do? Well, it's extremely unique for him to be able to move at that size the way that he does. I mean, even today's practice. I think we, we, you know, we're probably at two and a half hours out here, and we run probably 18 plays there at the end of the long drive, and the last one's 80 yards. And he sprints down there, and he's running right there with the 275-pound guys. That's, that's very abnormal. And so we have ourselves a very, very special athlete, and so now we got to put the other stuff together so he can be a special player.